The Fishball story is just a story. It is about touching lives, reminiscing childhood, and reminding how our grandmothers make it happen in their kitchen. My grandmother's handmade fishball ignited my passion to spread the fishball story. That being said, I wanted to share what real fishball should taste like. I'm Douglas. I'm the owner of Fishball Story. I thought there was a need to preserve the recipe and also to showcase to Singaporeans about what I personally feel that authentic fishball should taste like. That's how Fishball Story got the inspiration from this one, my grandmother. I've never heard of the Michelin that's awarding the hawkers. I know that they have been giving awards to restaurants and stuff like that. Nothing changed in terms of what I want to do, what's my vision. The good thing that happened was there's a lot of tourists that want to try fishball noodles actually came to us and that was like the bonus. I still stick to what my philosophy is and to make sure that we don't compromise quality and to produce what I feel is most authentic to people. We use yellow tail fish. We don't mix any flour because I don't believe in that. My grandmother makes it with 100% yellow tail meat. So that's the taste I want. Although costs have been increasing, but we never compromise in the ingredients before. And everything is handmade until date. We don't use a sheen to form the fish ball, the fish cake. And when I was a little kid, I used to gobble down like 20, 30 fish balls at one go. Oh, so around 60 years old, I went to learn from my grandmother. There's no intention of becoming a hawker at all. It was just to learn and to preserve it so I can make it for maybe my family, my kids next time. To let them know that hey, this is Amma fish ball. So at Fish Ball Story, we have the premium version. It comes with more fish ball, fish cake, and then we add in fish skin. We actually give it a very good combination, a little bit of crunch when you bite with the noodles. And then we also have the tauki wrapped with the fish meat. I recommend those first timers here, the premium one, because it has everything inside. Recently, we did a salted egg platter, which comes with a fish cake, beancurd skin, the fish skin, and then we have our own salted egg sauce. When I first started, there were a lot of mixed comments where people say that young chap, how can be able to come up with a good bowl of noodles? Because it's a like impression thing, you see. And then we have old people coming in to tell that, hey, wow, this is really God's Abi. It really give me the motivation sometimes to be able to let these people taste what they remember their parents or their grandparents make. These are things that push us going and I think that's also about you know letting people remember what is hawker culture about, what is the heritage about. It's very important to educate people. So who says traditional food is not Instagrammable, right? <laughs>